The bees are busy here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Welcome to this video where we'll talk about what's going on here in different parts of America in the lead up to what I think we would all have to agree will be the most important consequential and impactful presidential election in modern American history. And I thought this would be a good place to start out. Bethlehem was once one of America's big industrial towns, as you can see behind me. This is the former production facility for Bethlehem Steel, today known as the Steel Stacks. And it is very representative of the deindustrialization of the United States and also this area representative of the consequences and the impacts of that deindustrialization where all of this work and all of this stuff that was produced here just stopped. And so we'll get a look at this uh, old hunk of steel today and think about how the fact that America has sort of sold out from under itself this foundation of industry and its economic foundation traded that in favor of an economy that's really based on consumerism what impacts is that having on America and these kind of communities to this day so some people will tell you that Bethlehem is what's known as recovered rust belt it has taken a little bit different path following its deindustrialization then, for example, its neighbor just down the road, Allentown. Bethlehem, though, does have a little bit of uh, maybe an artsy feel where they've kind of gentrified some, some parts and replaced it with a little bit more of like a coffee shop. Um, there's a casino here. And so those kind of jobs, I guess, are what people are referring to when they talk about recovered Rust Belt, right? Kind of doing a gentrification, artsy-fartsy kind of replacement for what once was a very solid foundation for this community's economy. And so those new kind of jobs and this new economy that has America today, that's, that is America today, based so much on just buy stuff. You and I, we have to always be buying stuff because if we don't, the whole thing just kind of collapses. It's kind of like a house of cards where there's no real strong foundation economically underneath all of that stuff, all of that intangible stuff that we sort of traded when we gave up places like this and the jobs that were once here. And so communities like Bethlehem to this day still suffer really the, the impacts of that. And I think that um, the upcoming presidential election will be very interesting in places like this especially because these are contested places. Biden likes to sort of portray himself as being of working class origins. He likes to talk about kind of old themes of industry, working class people, unions, etc. even though most of that is long gone. And so you've got that side of it and then you've got um, Trump, which I, I think is more um, a reaction to that process of deindustrialization and the fact that communities like this are no longer places with a future. They're no longer places where families can feel like they have secure employment and that, um, that they live in a growing or vibrant community. And a lot of the jobs, I think, are more get you by from day to day, leading to people being not very happy, not very satisfied with their future and with the way things are going. And so they look to Trump in sort of a way of um, an alternative to all of this that you're seeing behind me and all of the effects of its collapse. So we've got a building up here that looks like we can get a view into and maybe see one of these old structures the steel stacks back there, you've seen those, and then looks like a big industrial shed here. Pretty dark in there, but I can see all kinds of just rows and rows of very large machines, perhaps some kind of, uh, some kind of boiler 
type stuff going on down there? Don't know. Feel free to comment if you know what those are. Uh, what I can tell you is this area that we're walking along here was once sort of like a carriageway that they would have these rail cars that would come through here raised above ground and they would transport all of the raw materials up here to the plant from the Lehigh River down below. And as, as you can imagine, there was a lot of mining, a lot of transportation, and a lot of manufacturing that took place in this country. These places right here and the people who worked here, they built America. They won the world wars and so their work was very, very consequential. It had a real impact on this country and on how the world developed. And here we are today, it's just a big hunk of junk. So here are some of the old rail cars that used to haul all of that raw material up into here. And uh, as you can imagine, this place would have been running day and night for many, many years, and especially during the World Wars, really um, sort of serving as that arsenal of democracy, I guess they called it, and serving as that, um, that foundation for building a country.